All right. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me in this video today. Um, I must thank you for all the support that you've been showing so far. And if this is the first time you visited my channel, can I request you to do hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you get to know whenever I do a video. Now, moving on to today's topic, which is should you really book a remote exam or not? Now, what do I mean by that? First and foremost, we all need to understand that there are two types of remote exams that are available. One for the knowledge level, which you can do uh, from home again, right? But these are on demand exams. That means that you can do these exams any time of the year, just like any knowledge level exam you can do at an approved CBE center like FPA. You know, we have a approved center at Burugli, Mumbai, right? So you can do the remote exam by going to, you know, the online link and I will share that uh, in the in the description and uh, you can book the exam and sitting at home, you can access your exam on that day. Now, that's your knowledge level exams but i think the most discussed exam is probably the skill and the professional level exams because i still get so many students and touch wood with god's grace at fpa we do you know teach you know hundreds and if not thousands of students uh, every quarter right um the question is always there whether we should book the remote exam or not now i'll be honest with you when the remote exams came out and this was when you know the COVID hit us um, the first two sittings were a problem right they were not easy the students had huge challenges be it with the system be it with the invigilators you know invigilators are the people who are at the other side of the screen and they can you know look at you when you are giving the exam right so the first two sessions were a problem you know I will not deny that but since then right up till the recent exams, I have not come across um, problems of the magnitude that were there before. In fact, the experience has only improved quarter over quarter, right? So therefore, if now these are the prerequisite guys, right? That what you should, if you want to really book a remote exam, these are the kind of things that you should do. A, obviously, do the system test you know there is a there is a link and again i will put that in the comments right is that you go to that link check whether your system is ready for the remote exam or not right because it will check for your camera it will check for your system speed it will check for your internet and the basis that it will give you an okay if you do uh, go for an exam without doing this test right you will not be able to a start an exam and even if you're able to start an exam god forbid something happens on that day acca will come back to you and say that hey you know we asked you to do the system test you did not do you are not supposed to start the exam on the system right so therefore i will strictly advise on not doing the exam without having done the system test all right that's the first thing but i think the more practical thing that you guys need to understand is that you know, it's 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 an exam which you are doing online. Therefore, make sure that wherever you are going to take this exam, the place is quiet. The place does not have mirrors, does not have glass, right? And uh, it is hopefully within the closed doors, right? Now, I'm sure while there could be constraints about these things, but for one day, for a few hours, I'm sure we can all find that friend find that uncle find someone who will lend their space for a few hours so that you can do this right so therefore make sure that one you have a ideal environment for that second is that you need to have a brilliant internet right if your internet is not good i assure you you'll have a problem right because look it is it is a heavy exam you know you're accessing acca server right so your uh, you know, their upload speed, your download speed, your upload speed needs to be absolutely great, right? Because you are uploading your camera images, you are uploading what you are writing. If that is not good, 
how will you be able to complete your exam right so have really good internet ideally uh, a broadband you know if if you can find a place where you have a wi-fi and if you have a broadband that is what you need right but here as well people will ask what if you know the light goes or if my internet stops for a minute or you know sometimes happens it happens in cities like mumbai right and i'm sure people who are doing remote exams they are not in cities like mumbai where the centers are available right so in such cases what i would suggest you and while uh, you know this is not there on the ecca's website and they've asked not to do it but this is just as a precaution have an additional dongle right have a, a hotspot that you can jump on until this issue is fixed because hotspot again you know there is no uh, there's no guarantee that it will you know it will work properly right so therefore use a dongle for a little while until your your internet gets restored and then move back to your broadband right however there is absolutely no problem having dongle around just as a safety as a precaution right so that's your very important and second thing that you have to do the third and probably equally important is that you need to calm your nerves because i know what what it is like to sit the exam and sometimes you know your light goes and your internet goes or uh, you know the system hangs and you know there is tons of possible problems that will come in but take it easy breathe in stay calm right because acc is aware that these are possible problems that you know students will encounter right so try and don't start calling your faculty from a phone or start calling your parents inside the room stay calm give 5 10 15 minutes i've had i've had i've had students waiting for half an hour and it started again right so stay calm wait right and then try and connect with the invigilator watch out for your mobile phone right while the mobile phone needs to be far enough but make sure that you you know you have a eye out on the mobile phone they might reach out to you tell them that this is a problem they will give you suggestions you can tell them you know what are the problems that you are facing and hopefully you will be able to start the exam but god forbid the exam is not starting what do you do you shut the screen eventually right but there is a possibility of where you launch the exam from at the same place you have an option of rebooking the exam right because you know if you have done a remote exam the the acc knows that these are the possible issues that may creep up rebook the exam especially for the skill level this is possible sometimes p level exams maybe you don't have an extra reserve week but you can do it in the same week as well i've had students who have been able to sit a p level exam in the first week itself right so therefore stay calm relax rebook the exam and if you think you can't sit the exam next week ask for a refund right so therefore my final take do not miss the session yes my personal preference is you know go to the center and give the exam because you know it's just always safer but if you can't take the remote exam do your best and i'm sure you will be fine right so on that note all the very best and thank you so much